Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in this video I'm going to show you some of my car boot sale finds. Um, it's Saturday and I've been to two boot sales, that's all spot in uh, Cardiff and Bessemer Road. Both of which paid off very well. I'm really happy with the day's um, items. Um, first of all I'll show you is a pair of beautiful quality candlesticks and a metamorphic high chair. Now I'm only going to breeze over these because I've already done individual videos on these two items. So this is just going to be a quick look at these as, and then they're off and I'm going to do close ups on all the rest of the stock, all the work in stock. But these two items I felt were good enough for a video on their own so I've included them just to show you in the general lot just for those who don't watch all the videos. Beautiful items, I've had some really nice work in stock. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy guys. I'll start here with the uh, pair of, I'm going to say bronze candlesticks. They're beautiful quality um, in the Victorian style but I believe 20th century. Real nice heavy candlesticks, wall mounted. And they have a foundry mark to the reverse. There we have it. I have done a featured video on these. Um, beautiful little items. Next then, I'm going to show you a high-low chair. Now, why do they call them a high-low chair? Obviously because they have two, two ways of using them. Another name from is a metamorphic chair. Now the teddy bear is mine. Um, I've put him in there just to show the chair. These chairs would be done for children, um, obviously in a larger scale. Obviously this one's been made, be, of, uh, I would say, because a child didn't want to go in the uh, high chair, they've made one for the doll to go in the chair at the side of him or her, so they feel more at ease using it. So I've no doubt there would have been a grander or much bigger scale of the exact same chair for the child to use as well as the doll or teddy bear. Now, as you can see, it folds down beautifully, and that's why they call it metamorphic. And obviously, it's on wheels, so it'll roll around should the child want to. Um, this one has a beautiful uh, silhouette in transfer, the original wooden blocks, all hand painted. It's in really nice condition. It's original metal casters um, and it's just a nice early 20th century doll's chair now um, but what an interesting little item. Next piece I'm going to uh, show you guys is a beautiful English silver plate um, tea service. <coughs> Excuse me. Now as you can see you only got to look at the handles and the shape to see this is a beautiful piece of art deco. We have ebony handles, silver plate bodies, um, wonderful shape. Now we have the four pieces, uh, cream jug, sugar bowl, teapot and hot water jug. Now it's all in beautiful condition and produced by one of the top makers. Let me see if I can focus it in. What we have here is mapping and web, triple plate, London, Sheffield, now this is 1920s, it's a bit scratched, but no way to the actual um, silver. Now I've done a video telling you how to clean silver without doing that scratching. That's an abrasive cloth that I've done that scratching on there. Um, but we have beautiful uh, set, really nice complete set, which is quite unusual and in good condition. Now this set came in this morning for £12. For the four pieces, that's three pound a piece, guys. Seriously, mapping and web, 1920s Art Deco silver plate. If it had the tray, it'd be up to 75, 85 pound. Really nice find. Um, come off the same stall as the candlesticks and the metamorphic high chair. Next piece I'm going to show you guys is a wonderful pair of early 20th century candlesticks. Now I love the feet. Uh, really nice square based, almost petaled um, with assimilated uh, pole feet. 
really nice, lovely patina, good condition. As you can see underneath, really nice, um, well, aging. Just a nice quality candlestick. Now I collect all these and I sell them at Christmas time, this very seasonal. This pair came in this morning for £2 per stick, so that's £4. Really, really for nothing. A good pair of quality candlesticks like that, got to be £30. Um, and come Christmas time I'll, send, I'll sell 100 to 200 pairs of sticks. Now the ones you're looking for will be seamed. They'll have a seam running up there and a seam running up the other side. And that's how you tell the early sticks. But the metal is also another indicator, the colour of the brass, it'll be almost a bell metal, it's a different colour. But they're beautiful candlesticks nevertheless, um, standing up 8 to 10 inches tall, and as I said in perfect condition, really nice little pieces. So we'll move them out the way and I'll move on to the next piece I want to show you, which again is another 1900 to 1910 little uh, sugar shaker or sifter as you can see it's hand hammered you see all this um, dent in here it means it's all hand beaten there you go it's uh, Alexander Company Limited English Pewter number 3018 it's a lovely almost a lighthouse shape if you like sorry um, beautiful finish and patina in good condition with a screw on lid which is quite unusual that cost me a pound. What a really nice piece of handmade pewter for a pound. Can't fault it. Not one little bit. Very happy with that, guys. I always look for a bit of pewter. The one you're looking for is Liberty R, Archibald Knox and Tudrick and things. They're the ones you're looking for for the big money. Next, we have a really interesting piece. It's 20th century. Now, it's Clasone. It's Chinese Clasone. Now, Clasone is base metal. Then they'll, they'll put the shape in almost wire work, fill it with enamel glass, fire it to form the pattern. Really, really nice decorative. You don't find much Chinese with this yellow finish. Box is in really, really nice condition. This came in this morning, it was very cheap. Um, as I've said, it is a 20th century example, but what a beautiful looking uh, box. Um, it was £2 this morning, and to be totally honest with you, with a bit of research, I think it might be up £45, £50, maybe even a bit more. I love the flowers, beautiful uh, depth in the colour. Um, and I don't see Chinese Clasone that often, not on the markets. next piece I'm going to show you is a bit of majolica. It's later piece of majolica, not the uh, early pieces. Um, lovely fruit tree with uh, a little butterfly. Um, now this piece produced in West Germany. It's These are stilt marks just telling you how it was fired. Um, just a pretty plate. It was 50 pence. Now I haven't had a piece of majolica for a while, but West German is collectible in itself. Um, you get a lot of the fat lava vases and things from the 60s. This is probably similar period, to be honest, with those 60s, 70s. Um, it's just lovely colours. I love the turquoise blue and the reds. and the. It's just really pretty. That's going to go out probably 10 or 15 pounds. So I'm happy enough with that. Next piece then, what we have here, <laughs> no it's not a loaf of bread guys, as much as it might look like a loaf of bread, obviously it says bread on there, turn it around, that's the stopper, I can't read this tidy yet, uh, I need to get an eyeglass on it, it's stamped made in England and that's obviously the maker's mark, we have a money box. Now I had a quick look on eBay when I um, when I purchased this just for bread money boxes and I found the exact one um, on there sold for £29. Um, I didn't bother remembering the uh, the maker's name but uh, 
it was the exact money box and they sold it for 29 well this cost me a pound what more do I want good work in stock it isn't gonna uh, bring in fortunes but it is what it is it's work in stock guys um, from there then we're going right back to the Edwardian period what I have to show you next is beautiful engraved or etched glass decanter now this is the important bit I don't know if I can capture it tidy for you there we go this pattern is known as Pall Mall or Lady Hamilton and um, there's one or two variations with the crisscrosses um, but depending on who you look at some sellers Art Nouveau some sellers Edwardian either way Pall Mall is what you're looking for guys it's that pattern and demands a seriously good price come in this morning for two pounds it's got a very fine bit of fog into the glass now you can't clean that out yourselves you need to send it away with um, a glass company um, if you've got a glass smiths near you they can send them away and they acid dip them and it takes this misting out or you just leave them full of liquid and uh, they, the misting or fogging only comes when they dry um, so you can leave your liqueurs in them or whatever and you won't even see it but we have a perfect piece here of Edwardian cut glass and it etched ray pattern pal mal um, that decanter in perfect condition without the fogging would have been 45 50 pound um, in the condition now probably 20 pound but again for nothing really was next piece guys yet again another pair of candlesticks very elegant simple design as you can see a little central nope here on a very plain stem nice drip pan um, now these are arts and crafts 1880 1900 they have pawn shop marks underneath where somebody's pawned them in their time um, so they're 100 120 year old maybe 140 year old really really nice example of what they are little arts and crafts candlesticks they came in for a pound each this morning so again another two pounds a pair of arts and crafts candlesticks like that 20 to 25 pound no problem at all Christmas time again put them on they're gonna be gone same the same day I love my candlesticks guys I buy loads of them and I make a lot of money off candlesticks next piece I'm going to show you is a little bit of parium wear now parium wear is unglazed white porcelain uh, it gets very dirty so you try not to handle it it's very hard to clean um, we have a little classical uh, lady here it's no maker's mark um, I wish it was stamped they don't pull fortunes they used to more often than not you'll find these in a glass dome that keeps them clean and protected and you'll find a lot of busts um, important people politicians royalty things like that in parium wear um, but yeah she's a classical lady i'm gonna soak her in some bleach water hopefully she'll come back white um, try and get some of the dirt out and then um, of course she'll be listed as she is and again she's probably going to be between 20 and 30 pounds and she came in this morning because of the condition on her for next to nothing really did next we have a piece of Swedish glass now as you can see we have two lovers dancing in amongst the trees really really classic design um, I'm not 100% on the uh, make at a minute it is a signed piece now it's signed Varmland which is in Sweden so we know it's a Swedish piece of art glass I can't even pronounce this uh, top word here and it has let me see if I can capture that for you there we go it has the flower etched on the base so no doubt the flower is going to be the maker's mark but as you can see beautiful piece of studio glass Scandinavian design that is best what a lovely wedding gift or something that would have been for somebody if that's what it was but I just love the romance behind the trees and them dancing down the courtyard down the through the aisle of the trees 
Um, I'll do a little bit of jewellery now guys. Um, I've had some bits and bobs. I've had a beautiful solid silver and amber necklace. Let's see if I can get that up there to show you. Really, really nice piece of amber. Only small, but beautifully made. And then of course, a couple of little bits of scrap gold. Uh, bracelets. Just the usual bits of scrap really, nothing that I'd write home about or jump up and down and be happy. A um, little bit of mother of pearl on a silver chain. Some odd gold earrings. You'd be surprised that one earring but there is a gram in gold. And it came in because it was a single earring uh, for 50p. Yet it's a gram of gold so it's £10 guys. Don't just leave a single earring there. Again, single earring, half a gram, 50p. Don't leave them there. Really don't. Right? They may look tiny to you, but if there's a gram or half a gram, there's money in them. You really have to uh, pick up even just the leftovers of the gold. What we have next is a pair of 1970s-ish plates. Uh, these are the contrast pattern. They buy Hornsey pottery. Some Hornsey is worth more than others. These plates are not fortunes. I just loved the black against the uh, white and the floral. Really, really beautiful design. They buy Hornsey. I know the mark is very worn, but I know the mark. Um, they're just the run of the mill working stock. I'll put these out for £15 the pair, but they came in a pound each. Again, the mark's very warm, but I do know the marks, and I know the uh, pattern and the designs. Um, and as I say, it's the Hornsey contrast. But as you can see, they are beautiful plates. On somebody's wall, they really are going to look something really special. Next piece I want to show you guys is a beautiful wall-mounted 1960s chrome wall adjustable wall light um, it's really really nice piece turns around all all different ways the chrome is in really nice condition um, it's got a bit of scratching and everything to the uh, to the main body but I haven't cleaned it yet so it's still stinking dirty but the colors there really really nice color um, as I said it's adjustable you could even mount it on a bit of wood and make it a desk lamp if you wanted it's going to need rewiring, um, but you know what guys, it was 50 pence this morning, seriously, what a nice funky retro lamp, um, adjustable in all directions, so, you know, perfect, you know, somebody will clean that up, rewire it, put it on their uh, wall next to their bed, and they got a really nice stylish lamp, um, I don't do a lot of lighting, but this um, retro pieces are coming back into fashion. Next we have um, a run of the mill piece here. Um, I see these quite often now. They used to demand a high price. Um, they're Islamic um, and they're classed as mixed metal. What you have is the brass body inlaid with copper and low grade silver into an engraved body. Now the silver normally reads a poem or a message of love or peace. Sometimes they're given as wedding presents. Um, I've had them inscribed with um, people's names. But they, they do sell. If you look on eBay, some of the dearest pieces of these are up, you know, 50, 100 pound, no problem. The average I sell them for is about 15, 20 pound. They have a, a bit of age. They're not uh, extremely old, but as you can see by the finish on the lacquer, probably 1920s, 1930s. Um, and as I said, these are always little poems or little messages of love. Next, guys, um, I bought a book, a reference book. Now, as I've told you, I do, every time I'm at the market, if I see a book, whether I need it or not, I will buy it, providing it's on a specialist subject. Now what we have here is ribbons and medals. So we have a book on all the military medals, identification, dating. Now you're going to pick up medals all over the place. And how do you know what service they are, what regiment they are, what country they are? You need your books. 
This book came in this morning for a pound. I don't know how much somebody paid for this book. There you go. It was a fiver originally. That's probably in 1960, 1970. But I'll do a book review on this one, tell you if it's any good, and if it is, give you the ISBN number and everything. But when you're out on the market, guys, make sure you get the, um, the books, because you don't know when you'll need them. I've got a library with probably 500 to 1,000 books just sat there that I pull out as and when I need them. So a good little tip there, guys. Make sure you pick the books up as and when you see them. Final piece I want to show you then is two little porringers or wine, wine tasters. Now these ones are in silver plate. A friend of mine had a beautiful solid silver example the other day. Um, this one's Patridge. Nice little embossed design. As I said, silver plate. Little thumb handle there. And um, when you go wine tasting and things, that's your little cup. They're quite collectible. They don't pull fortunes. The silver one, you know, can be up 50, 60, 70 pounds, depending on age. And these little silver plate ones, I had two of them. They're probably going to pull me 12 pounds for the pair. But at the same time, they come in pound for the two. It's working stock. It's good profit, guys. Last piece, guys. And... Um, what we have here is a cast iron, I think it's a fireback. Um, now I'm Welsh, I come from Wales. Uh, the three feathers is very Welsh. This is cast iron, as I've said. It could be a fireback, it could be a trivet, but you know what? I'm going to mount it on the outside of my house. I'm Welsh, I live in Wales. Um, you can't get no more Welsh than three feathers. Come in this morning, it was two pounds. It's cast iron. Really, 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 really heavy, guys. Nice lump of cast iron, I guess. Beautifully cast. Two pound. It was my birthday. Anyway, guys. I hope you've enjoyed um, taking a little look at the uh, pieces I bought today. A um, little misorganized I'd say in the presentation today but um, been a bit of a rush and I wanted to get the film done before I work tomorrow because I'm, uh, I'm going to re-offer some of this out at the market tomorrow but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless um, some interesting pieces and of course I've done the two specialist films as well so if you found it interesting guys I would appreciate the like and the share don't forget to subscribe um, we're really getting up there with the videos if you need any advice or any help, if I am able to help you, I'm more than willing. Just send me an email or a message. Um, you can email me on info at antiquesarena.co.uk. Um, anyway, guys, you'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. We're on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance, and we have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.